this video, we're going to look at how to find the area of a triangle. Okay, so that's something they can ask quite often. Uh, so there are two different ways. So I'll just write that. Two ways. You have number one is um, I'll say a is equal to half by base multiplied by height. Okay. So for an example, if we have our triangle here, that'll be our base. The height here is height h. So if we want to find the area then, like the formula just says, it's a is equal to half by base by the height. Okay. The second way then would be, uh, this might be new to some of you, so you probably would have seen this uh, in the junior cert, but this one is a little bit of a new way. It's a is equal to, so again, it's half multiplied by a, multiplied by b, multiplied by sine of c and obviously that doesn't mean anything until we see what a b and sine c are so say we have our triangle here this is going to be our a this is our b and this is our angle c okay so it's important that it's let's say two sides so a and b what's more important is that's the angle in between them okay angle in between them okay so this is useful for triangles like this where you don't have the perpendicular height it won't always be obvious what the the height straight up from the top to the bottom is uh, so that's why this uh, this way of calculating the area can be quite useful as well okay so we're gonna look at just some basic examples just to kind of um, basically see those in use there's no point just looking at a formula but look at some examples then it should stick so here we have our example here um, and we're going to look, so again, the formula, I'll just write it out. So this time I'm going to write it without the x's in between. We'll just write the formula out first. That's always good practice. A, B, sine C. And that's in your formula and tables book if you go to the pages on um, length, area, and volume. So you can find this formula here. So area of the triangle is half A, B, sine C. So the area of this triangle is going to be equal to, so half multiplied by 10 multiplied by 8 multiplied by sine of 45 because that's the angle in between them I'll just change color for the answer the area of this triangle is going to be 28.28 centimeters squared and always try to keep the units proper so for area it's centimeters squared for length it's centimeters and we'll look at volume later on but a is equal to 28.28 centimeters squared okay so hopefully that makes sense it's just plugging numbers into this formula here and it's in your formula and tables book so i'm not actually going to do an example on this one here because hopefully um you'll have seen things like that before and if i just give you b and h then again it's just sticking it into the formula so there's not much point in doing it but i'm going to do another example anyway which is going to be a little bit harder um and i'll just write it out here Yep, so there I just wrote the example out quickly. So here we have a triangle here, it's a green triangle, uh, with one side is 13, one side is 18, and the angle in between them C, uh, we don't know what it is. But we do know that the area is equal to 78 centimeters squared. In this case, we want to find out what the, uh, the angle C is. Okay, so I'm going to start by writing out the formula. I'll go bright blue. So I'm going to say A is equal to half AB sine of C. Okay, so that means that if we plug our values in, 78 is equal to half by, we'll say one side is 13, the other side is 18, it doesn't really matter which order, which one's A, which one's B, it doesn't matter which one you put in, multiplied by sine of C. Okay, so uh, if you want to rearrange that, or stick it into the calculator, you'll get that 78 is equal to 117 sine of c so that's sticking those numbers into a calculator and multiplying them all by each other okay uh, and i'll just draw a line down here and we can continue over here so then i'm going to divide so in the next line here i'm going to divide both sides by 117 so we can get the sine c on its own so it's going to be 78 over 117 is equal to sine c i'm just going to rewrite that sine c is equal to 78 over 117 I'll skip to yellow why not now we're going to say that c is equal to the inverse sine of 
78 over 117. So the same trick we've done a few times now, we're going to find the angle. And then one more line here, so we're going down like this. C is going to be, so stick that into your calculator, and you'll find a nice answer of 41.81 degrees. Okay, uh, so you're always going to get kind of messy answers when you use the inverse sine. But anyway, that's the size of the angle, 41.81 degrees, and that's how you solve, I guess, a problem like that. Okay, so it's not just so straightforward as subbing the values in, you have to do a little bit of thinking afterwards. But yeah, hopefully that all made sense. That's uh, kind of most what you're going to get asked on getting the area of a triangle. And the next video, we're going to look at the cosine rule, the proof, and when we can use it. Okay, see you then.